I've been doing some more work on the cafe racer. Um, <clears throat> it's taken me a full day just pissing about with pipes and cables. What I'm trying to do is build up like a, a rolling bike so that I'm absolutely certain there needs to be no more welding to be done on the frame or out like that and once I've got it all built up I'll see if I can get a, a mock engine in but once I've got it all built up then I can completely strip it down and send all the bits off for painting and stuff polishing whatever and then it'll just be a case of building it back up rather than sending the frame off now for painting and finding I need to weld something onto it and blah blah you know what I mean so I don't really want to spend a fortune on bits and bats but it's possibly going to be one of them projects where it'll just keep going on and on and on it's already well over a year, nearly two years, I think, since I started it. Admittedly, I did run out of money. Well, no, actually, I, st I was spending my money on something else and this just got shelved. So, um, what I've done today, for instance, is I found some brake lines down in the cellar. They're knackered and they're far too long but I found this like hydraulic junction thing which I'm going to use, obviously that'll get polished up now normally I think the Thunder Racer's braking system starts off with two pipes straight from the handlebars you know the brake reservoir down to the calipers um, but I'm going to just use one pipe hence the reason for the that hydraulic junction thing obviously it'll have new brake lines on um, now you'll notice that the horn is upside down because I think normally these face down or face straight forward that bracket is off a thunder race so basically I've just turned it upside down in order to fit this junction thing the bike when it's finished I'm not going to take it out in the rain anyway, so I think it'll be all right. At the end of the day, if the horn knacks up, it's a tenner for a new horn, so it's not end of the world. So I'm putting stuff on like the throttle cables. I need to get some. I need to. I need a brake lever, clutch lever stuff like that. This this will obviously go up to the uh, front brake lever. I think the reservoir bolts on there so it'll go it'll go up here somewhere. Um, it's just a, it's just to get an idea of what I need to do. Now I'm gonna have to keep the battery tray because the the type of seat pod I want I don't want a big round one I want a more square one a bit like off Mad Max type thing so I'm keeping the battery tray um, now you'll be able to see that the rear caliper there's a brake line to it again this is an old brake line I've got and it's far too long for the job ideally what it needs to do is just come from the, the caliper up on the swinging arm and then just basically up to there when it decides to focus in um, but as you can see because it's too long it sort of like snakes round whenever the hell it's gone and then down so I need to get one of the right length um, now what I've done is because the exhaust it's going to come up here 
at the side of the swinging arm I've sort of like had to Kelly fudge a little bracket thing to hold the brake pipe on I'll probably trim it down so there's no pointy bits on and probably get it you know painted or something so it won't look too bad um, so you can just see that I found these old brackets that, that'll do again they're going to get cleaned up but everything's looking central um, you know the shock absorber is nice and centered now because I've made some spacings for the swinging arm you know, I don't know if I can show you probably there look so you can see actually I just need to you can see when I've turned a space and it's just slightly a larger diameter than the swinging arm um, so I'll sort that out the shock absorber on this Thunder Ace it's got it's a gas thing um, and you can adjust it so you can see again this needs service well it needs properly servicing because it was in a fire um, you can see the gas pipe coming from the top of the shocker round to the canister now I've sort of like made a bit of a bracket that will be held on by like a big rubber band type thing from that hook to that hook um, I'm gonna this is just a prototype so I'm gonna do it properly I'm gonna get another battery tray and do it properly but this is what it'll look like the damping you know preload whatever it is for the shock absorber will just be visible there so you just be able to turn it there um, the old battery tray of I'm using it as mounting points for like the brake rear brake reservoir and stuff put a new bracket on to fit me rear master cylinder off the Thunder Race um, that rear foot rest is now cut because the exhaust comes up at the side of that the exhaust basically will be coming up there so um, I've made a new brake pivot thing so all that will get done properly this footrest is going to get cut down to look like the other side um, and I'm just wondering now my exhaust that I've had made comes out under the seat um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these little lugs on here and if I need to have the exhaust another another end can made rather than coming out of the centre but come out of the sides I can use them so that's not too bad so like I say I'm just oh, I need to do something with the head bearings that's just totally unacceptable um, so I need to get a, a cover made for that I'm gonna get some taper bearings for it and try them so I'm gonna to have to get two pairs one for a Thunder Race and one for a XS1100 and just see which ones fit it might be a mis mismatch of both I don't know the other thing I'm going to do is you can see the stops to stop, you know, there look, it's not very good at all. So, what I'm going to do, I think, is weld something on there, you know, a bit more. I don't know, about another. 5 mil of metal or something so that it stops properly but it's got a relatively with that stop there it's got a relatively 
narrow turning circle. No, no, it's fucking long. It, I've got to do a 20 point turn, so it's, it's so maybe I could grind that stop down a little bit um, and just I don't know, but I don't want it get I don't want it too close to the tank, do I? I don't know. It's all experimental stage at this at the moment. I need to clean the inside of the tank. You probably won't be able to see it. But it's all rusty. Well it isn't too bad actually. But um I watched one of Andy's motorcycles obsessions video about his excess and he he used apple cider vinegar so I might give that a go so obviously new tyres needed wheels need painting so my list is fucking horrendous but I think um I think if I just keep at it now a little bit at a time, it'll just come together nice and slowly. Um, believe it or not, there's not really much more to, you know, a lot more stuff to go on it. Um, obviously I need a seat pod and a seat. Um, the electrics, I've got my, my wire cable there already. So that's going to be put on. The bike is going to have keyless ignition, that's why I've ground off the key, you know, the lock hold, I've got to ground it off, so it's going to have keyless remote ignition. Um, so I think what I need to do now is just source some stuff on eBay, like, you know, front brake lever, clutch lever. I think the excess is a cabled operated clutch, so stuff like that. Can't remember now. Um, that's the XS1100 side stand. I did try a Thunder Race side stand on it, but the bike nearly fell over every time you left it, so I've got to put that back on, but that one's a bit pretty shit. So I need a, another one of them. Oh, I need to beef that up a bit. Um, and then obviously I need all the correct bolts for the suspension because I've just put it in temporary um, and then uh, we'll see how it goes so I'm taking that in for an MOT next week hopefully so I've been pissing about with that one as well so that's it guys that's the story so far so really not a lot more done but just messing about but what I'll do is I'll just try and zoom in at the suspension mod I've done so far just in case you know anybody else wants to try and give it a go or whatever so that's the bit of welding Can't really see it now because of the battery tree and stuff. But anyway. So I shall give it a go, eh? So I look I'm gonna update my website with a lot more text and stuff. I've just taken a lot of pictures. Um Oh, I've just my gasket sets come for the engine, so I'm going to continue building the engine in the next few days, hopefully. Once that's built, I can sort of like get it up here, not outside, but leave it in the dining room somewhere. Get it out of the cellar. Right, time to log off. <laughs>